Hello, my name is Marl Bell, owner of Bell Electronic Technologies. The MU9000X USB is an advanced angle measurement system that provides a quick and precise way to set your control throws, wing incidents, engine thrust angle, and to match elevator halves and servos on your RC aircraft. In this video, I'll give you an overview of its features and show an RC aircraft being set up using this precision device. The MU9000X USB consists of an angle measuring unit, measuring plate, onboard conversion circuitry, backing plate, two nylon spring clamps, and a USB 2.0 cable. The USB cable simply plugs into the USB port of a desktop or laptop PC running Windows 7, Windows Vista, or Windows XP. Once the software is installed, your computer becomes a powerful RC aircraft setup tool. The angle sensing unit is an absolute inclinometer which utilizes MEMS technology to sense tilt angles over a full 360 degree range in the pitch and roll axes. MEMS is an acronym which stands for Micro Electromechanical Systems. There are actually two MEMS units within the sensor housing, one to measure angles in axis one, and one to measure angles in axis two. Notice the two airplane graphics representing each axis. The sensor is lightweight, weighing in at a mere 68.4 grams or 2.4 ounces. This makes it ideal for measuring control throw deflection without loading down the control surface servo. The software provides an intuitive graphical user interface which makes setting control surface deflection, wing incidence, and engine thrust angle quick and accurate. First notice that the GUI is divided into two measurement frames, one and two. You'll also notice that when you hover over the buttons and drop-down menus, you get a tool tip, which is a brief description of what those buttons or menus do. Within each of the measurement frames, we can select which axis we're measuring, a target tolerance, and a graphic to represent an axis. A large digit view can be selected for easy viewing of the two measurement axes. From within the view menu, we can change the look of our axis graphic to make it either an airplane or device. Also within the view menu, we can select View MU9000X Datasheet Online. This gives a detailed description of the software functions, a technical description, and unit specifications. So let's go ahead and prepare for measuring control throws. In this example, we're going to start out with the manufacturer's recommended throws for the 61 size Great Plains shoestring racer. The first thing we notice when looking at the recommended control surface throws is that they are expressed in inches or millimeters and not degrees. For example, the high rate aileron control surface throws are plus and minus 9 16 of an inch. Since we need to know the equivalent number of plus and minus degrees, we will use the MU9000X USB to make the conversion for us. Let's go ahead and put in the plus and minus 9 sixteenths of an inch into the plus and minus deflection boxes. We'll put in the decimal equivalent of 9 sixteenths, which is 0.5625. To get the decimal equivalent of a fraction, simply divide the numerator by the denominator on your calculator. In this case, we divided 9 by 16. Now we just need the width of the aileron measured perpendicular to the hinge line at the widest point. For the shoestring racer, it measures two and a half inches. Now we key in two and a half into the cord window by entering 2.5. Next, click Convert. You'll notice that minus 13.00 and 13.00 degrees shows up in the minus target and plus target windows. Later, we will be setting the endpoint adjustments on our transmitter so that the aileron moves plus and minus 13 degrees. It's important to note here that we could have used millimeters instead of inches for the manufacturer's recommended control throws. In that case, we would measure the width of the control surface in millimeters. Once the numbers are entered as millimeters, clicking on convert will also yield plus and minus 13 degrees for the plus and minus target angles. Let's prepare to measure the control surface deflection on the left aileron by powering up the radio and receiver 
and making sure the aileron is centered by adjusting the linkage and or sub trim on the radio. Position the angle measuring unit on the aileron so that the back edge is parallel to the hinge line. Secure in place using the foam covered backing plate and nylon spring clamps. Before measuring the aileron control throws, we will use axis 2 to set the hinge line of the aileron so it is level. While this is not an essential step, it does ensure the highest level of accuracy. In axis 2, click level and set axis 2 target tolerance to plus and minus 1 degree. Adjust your plane's position so that the hinge line of the aileron is level within one degree. You will know the hinge line is level within one degree when the color bar under the measured angle in axis two is green. Now that the aileron hinge line is level, click zero in axis one. This establishes a zero angle for setting up the aileron deflection. We will now set the left aileron high rates by moving the radio's control stick fully right and setting the endpoint adjustment to plus 13 degrees, followed by moving the radio's control stick fully left and setting the endpoint adjustment to minus 13 degrees. Selecting the large digit view provides another way to view our endpoint adjustments. The color bars that are situated to the right and left of the display turn from red to green when the measured angle matches the target angle within the chosen tolerance. Let's now set up the low rate aileron control throws. Referring again to the manufacturer's recommendations, the aileron low rate throws are plus and minus 3 eighths of an inch. As before, the MU9000X USB will convert plus and minus 3 eighths of an inch into plus and minus degrees. We will first find the decimal equivalent of 3 eighths of an inch by dividing 3 by 8 on a calculator. This yields a value of 0.375, which we will key into the plus and minus deflection windows. The cord, or width of the aileron, remains the same, so we will now simply click Convert. Our aileron low rates will be plus and minus 8.63 degrees. We will now set the left aileron low rates by first moving the aileron control stick fully right and change the dual rate adjustment on the radio until we get plus 8.63 degrees within the chosen target tolerance. We will now check the left aileron deflection in each direction to make sure we've hit the plus and minus target angles by observing the color of the bars under the plus and minus targets. Activating the large digit view is a good way to do this. Unlike setting the high rates, we don't have to set the radio EPAs for each direction because the radio's dual rate adjustment is a percentage of the high rate for both directions. The method for setting high and low rate surface deflection for ailerons is the same for elevators, so now I'll focus on matching elevator halves. The MU9000X USB provides an excellent way to match each half of your plane's elevator because of its high degree of accuracy and because a zero reference can be set at any angle. This is especially important for planes that have a control horn for each elevator half. In that case, mechanical linkages and or servos must be adjusted, so both halves are precisely at zero degrees when the radio's control stick is at the neutral point. The Great Plains 46 size revolver has a control horn for each elevator half, so I'll use it to show how easy it is for the MU9000X USB to precisely match its elevator halves. To prepare for matching the elevator halves, turn on the transmitter and receiver and set your radio's trims and sub trims to zero. Adjust the linkage on the left elevator half so that it is lined up with the horizontal stabilizer. Secure the angle sensor to the left elevator half so that the shorter edge is parallel to the hinge line. Clicking level in axis one establishes the hinge line level reference and clicking zero in axis two establishes the zero reference angle that will be used to precisely match the right elevator half. Secure the angle sensor to the right elevator half and make sure its orientation is the same as it was for the left elevator half. We can see that the right elevator half is 1.14 degrees higher than our zero reference angle. Adjust the linkage of the right elevator half to obtain a reading of zero for axis two. 
The method for setting up control surface deflection for the rudder is the same as what I've described for the other control surfaces, except this time the airplane is situated on its side. Again referring to the manufacturer's recommendations, the values for the rudder high rates are plus and minus 2.25 inches, and the rudder cord width measured perpendicular to the hinge line is 5.625 inches. Keying in these three values and clicking convert will yield plus and minus 23.58 degrees. If the manufacturer's recommendations for your aircraft are already expressed in degrees, you can simply enter those values directly into the plus and minus target angle boxes as we have done here with plus and minus 25 degrees. As before, prepare for setting your rudder's control surface deflection by turning on your radio and receiver and making any linkage or sub-trim adjustments so that the rudder is aligned with the vertical stabilizer. Secure the MU9000X USB to the rudder so that an edge is parallel to the hinge line. Level axis 2 within 1 degree and set a zero reference angle in axis 1. Move the radio's control stick fully left and set the endpoint adjustment to minus 23.58 degrees. Then move the radio's control stick fully right and set the endpoint adjustment to plus 23.58 degrees. Select the large digit view to verify the endpoint adjustments. The color bars of axis 1 will turn from red to green when the measured angle matches the target angle within the chosen tolerance. The MU9000X USB is the perfect tool for measuring wing incidence. When measuring wing incidence, use a commercially available incidence bar like this one and secure it to the wing. Place the MU9000X USB on the turtle deck, which for this airplane is parallel to the waterline or fuselage reference line. Set level in axis 1 and click invert in axis 2 so that positive wing incidence will yield a positive reading. Set a zero reference angle in axis 2 and read the wing angle of incidence in the large digit view. Without disturbing your airplane's position, move the MU9000X USB from the turtle deck to the incidence bar. The wing angle of incidence measures 1.65 degrees. For measuring right thrust angle, position your airplane on its side and secure the measuring unit to the wing tube. Set the plus target of axis 2 to 1 degree. Set the target tolerance to 0.25 degrees. Click invert so that the measured angle will display positive. Click zero to establish a reference angle. Without disturbing the position of your plane, clamp the measuring unit to the spinner back plate. Make sure the orientation of the measuring unit is the same as it was when the zero reference was established. Use the large digit view to read the thrust angle. It measures 1.25 degrees. The manufacturer's specification is 1 degree. For measuring engine down thrust angle, again use the turtle deck for an angle reference. Subtract 90 degrees from the measured angle by clicking the minus 90 button. That way, if there is no engine up or down thrust, the measured angle will read 0 degrees. Clamp the unit to the spinner's back plate. The down thrust angle measures 0.58 degrees. A small adjustment to the down thrust angle could be made to meet the manufacturer's published specification of one degree. Whether you're fine tuning your glider, getting ready for an aerobatic competition, or preparing for your next maiden flight, the AeroPerfect MU9000X USB gives you the confidence to know that your aircraft will fly its very best. Seasoned pilots and new pilots alike have found the AeroPerfect MU9000X USB provides the unparalleled precision and convenience they need to set up their aircraft for optimum performance. Visit our website at aeroperfect.com to learn more about what the MU9000X USB can do for your setups and be sure to check out our other products. Happy flying!